Live from the local liquor store to your living room, it's Transformers News with your host, YouTube's most outspoken alcoholic and worldly wino, the dashing and debonair drunken prime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, gather around. Let's grab a seat and uh, let's get into the news. So in the last video, we covered the wish list that I had and a couple of people were brought to my attention for the 86 uh, Studio Series 86 line. And this one, this video, I say this one was a little harder to make. This one was a little bit harder to uh, to delve into because a lot of the characters that I would have wanted to see in the '86 line are coming out in Kingdom, and it was just as I started to delve further and further and further in, I started to think to myself, "Well, who the hell is left? Who's left to?" <laughs> put into the 86 line for this list um because <laughs> who the hell's left um but you know what i decided um going to uh to jump in and i i dug a little deeper and found 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 that i i, I really there were characters in in the movie the 86 movie that i probably glossed over and, and ignored and didn't think that think anything about and then when I started to compile this list I was like well well hell that makes sense well that one makes sense too so um you know I uh, quick omissions uh honorable mentions I guess Galvatron and uh Cyclonus uh those are my two honorable mentions for this list so let's dive into it the Pseudo Series 86 wish list for for me and for a couple other people that have uh, brought this up to me. And part two of our three part series, we're going to discuss the Decepticons. So, uh, number five, uh, the battle damaged Megatron. Now, I know, I know, I know. Hasbro has a rule, apparently. There's a rule at Hasbro uh, you don't cross the streams. But in this case, I think this would be a fantastic update to the Siege Mold because apparently they're going to make 17 million versions of the Siege Mold. So, yeah, I, I guess you you might as well just go for it. Just go for it. This this would be a great addition. Um, it mimicked the uh, masterpiece. That'll be pretty cool. So, yeah, if they want to go mini masterpiece, go for Battle Damage Megatron. Number four, I mean, uh, no brainer, the sweeps. Uh, you know, just there are rumors, I know there are rumors going around, oh, they're going to make the sweeps, they're going to make the sweeps with different face sculpts. And I mean, for the army builders out there, this would be a fantastic addition um, to your collection. I feel like they should have made the sweeps they should make the sweeps a two pack or a three pack voyager pack and uh just give those to us uh and it would go well with your 86 scourge 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 i can never pronounce it scourge scourge that'll be scourge it'll go with uh, your scourge but uh yeah <laughs> number four uh the sweeps Number three, well, these guys should have just been a no-brainer, but I didn't think about them until uh, I rewatched certain scenes in the movie, the Insecticons. Now, I know there's some pretty decent versions of the, Insectic the Insecticons out there, um, uh, but I think it's time that uh, Hasbro gave us these guys and gave them the 
quote unquote mini masterpiece treatment. I think updated versions of these guys would be pretty pretty sweet and something to look, really look forward to. Um, but yeah, give us that's a three pack that should be made. This is a three pack that should be made. This is uh, a, you know don't give us one at a time. Just give us all three. Just dump them out as a three pack. Tell us you know. Tell us uh, they're revamped and remolded and no stickers this time because the Insecticons I had had stickers and stickers are currently seething and writhing with glue all over them and they look like they're uh, they look like they're having like an acne breakout with all the glue applications on them so let's uh, let's let's get let's get an update let's let's get an updated version a three pack of the insecticons if not for any other reason but to bring back poor kickback oh number two is easily my no-brainer for myself um when i started compiling this list uh he this guy was automatically on it and there was it was a no-brainer um blitzwing give us a leader class blitzwing triple changer i want it all give them to me give them the the modern modern day mini masterpiece take i want blitzwing i don't want the headmaster version i don't want that skinny version that was floating around i want a big beefy superstar like you know triple triple changer takeover i want i want I want that Blitzwing. I want that from the 86 movie. Even though he's only in it for maybe, I don't know, he's probably in a movie for a grand total of like seven minutes, if that. And most of them, he's getting his butt kicked. But still, just for collection, just for collection's sake, give us Blitzwing. Give us an updated version of Blitzwing. Make it a leader. Make me pay $50. I'll, I'll gladly do it. It's fine. I, I accept my defeat. If if you want to make them the same sort of scale as Astro Train, eh, I'll still be kind of like antsy about it. But, I mean, I'll take it. But, I, yeah, give me Blitzwing. Give me Blitzwing. Now, I know this is the part where I'm supposed to do the recap. And, like I said in the first video, part one, I'm not going to do a recap. But I'm going to talk about this one because Blitzwing honestly should have been number one to me. But then a couple of my friends brought uh, brought this guy up to me. And I said to myself, wow, I never thought of that. But shout out to my buddy D and to Dr. Hirsch. Uh, two big time collectors in the community that I'm a part of um, who brought this up. And... Um, yeah, let's let's get to it. Number one, King Starscream. Now this guy is referred to as uh, what do they call him in the community? They call him Decepticon uh, Evil Jesus. I believe they call him because this guy has been this guy was absolutely decimated and then resurrected. But what? How cool would it be if? we got this guy we just the full set just give me the full set because we all remember his very 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 abrupt end in the uh, transformers movie it's like you know when, when optimus died i was mortified when megatron died i was numb inside when starscream died i think i just kind of had enough with the movie and I didn't really, I, I, it wasn't, I didn't really enjoy it as a kid as I, as much as I should have because, like, literally my three favorite characters were gone. They were gone for good. At, at least in, at least I thought at the point, at that point they were gone for good. But, um, yeah, King Starscream. Um, just give us this set. It's like, it'd be just like the masterpiece. We're going for the moniker of mini masterpiece. I think Starscream, King Starscream, would be the 
would be a, a great sale, a, gr a great sell for any collector out there who didn't want to pay the ma buy a masterpiece, but wanted the wanted the playability of the masterpiece figure. I think uh, that set would probably go for it would probably go for sixty dollars, most likely because of all the quote unquote accessories. But um, you know, I'd pay it. I'd gladly pay it. Um, just don't give us the Earthrise mold. I don't want the Earthrise mold. If you were to give us this, I, I'd much prefer the Siege mold or retool of the Siege mold. Um, before you give us, if you were to give us this, but seriously, uh, that's my list. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, like, share, subscribe. Uh, yeah, the, like I said, this was a, this was a hard one. This was, this is a hard one. I really had to go deep in the bench for this one. Um, because it, it's just, they were just, it's just, they're not, there weren't that many Decepticons that I could think of that were major that weren't, that weren't showing, going to be showing up in the in the kingdom line so i mean hey this this I, I i think this is a pretty cool list uh let me know what you think in the comments and um yeah hit that like button and um yeah let's uh let's talk about it in the in the comments but until then until until next time when we reveal part three of my little three-part series uh be good be safe and this is the drunken prime cracking open another beer and signing off <laughs>